The vaccine rollout is far from over. Government immunisation advisers have told the NHS to be ready to give an autumn booster to all over 50s, health and care workers and those with underlying health conditions. A final decision will be taken in September. They back our plans, which are to roll it out from September this year onwards and really to do what it takes to keep the virus at bay. That's the objective. And they're saying that you should obviously start with the most vulnerable first, and that's our plan. But the JCVI is still grappling with a more immediate decision on whether to include all adolescents in the current rollout. Many European countries are pressing ahead. Analysis by Sky News shows 20 have begun immunising 12 to 15-year-olds or have plans to do so. A further six, including the UK, currently inoculate only children with underlying health conditions. And 11 have yet to make a decision. There are two key reasons to give them a jab. One is herd immunity. To stop the virus spreading, around 85% of the population needs to be protected, either from vaccination or from having had COVID. But the vaccine is currently targeted at adults who only make up 79% of the population. So herd immunity is highly unlikely without including adolescents. The second reason to vaccinate them is to keep them in school. Absences are rising, with 5% of pupils now off because someone in class had tested positive. But against all that is the small risk of COVID to children. Data shows there are lots of cases in the under-15s, but very few are admitted to hospital and they account for less than 0.03% of deaths. With the risks of the disease so low, doctors would want to be sure vaccines are safe. So all eyes are on the United States, which has given around 8 million doses to the under-18s, more than any other country. Health officials are monitoring reports of myocarditis, an inflammation of the heart muscle. It's very rare, but it seems to be more common in those aged 16 to 19, although almost all have recovered well. It's a condition that can be caused by other common viruses, but until it's clear whether the vaccines are adding to the risk, some doctors will be cautious about giving them at all to the young.